Michael, why do people say uh, I appeared radical crazy because I had an American flag displayed on my social media profile photo? I feel like that's a trend I've been seeing. Anything pro-America is bad. You're crazy. You're an awful bigot. How dare you? How dare you put that hateful symbol of freedom and justice and equality and prosperity and charity? How awful of you. This is a real trend. Is the American flag like the new Confederate flag? Yes. They, uh, at the University of Irvine, mm -hmm. UC Irvine. Well, they do lots of dumb stuff down there. They do a lot. They voted in the student government to ban the American flag because it's not inclusive enough. And you might say, well, this is insane. America is the only country in the world that it was ever founded to be inclusive, right? To, to be founded primarily as a creed in this new world that the Euro Europeans discovered and uh, to bring in people of all colors and races, and, but all behind an American creed, one that believes in natural rights that come from natural law, that worships a God. So uh, I think this gets to what G.K. Chesterton wrote about in Orthodoxy. He said, there is a thought that stops thought, and that's mm -hmm. the only thought that ought to be stopped. And that's what you're seeing when people say the American flag is awful. Because when they, when they oppose the American flag, when Colin Kaepernick gets on a knee and protests against the American flag, he's undercutting his own protest. If you use the rights and the freedoms given to you by America to fight against America, you're a house divided against itself. You're not making any sense. That's incoherent. Uh, I, I don't think people quite understand that. You can, uh, some people say, well, you support free speech, so I'm going to use my free speech to shout you down and shut you up. That is not a coherent statement. You're, you can't use the right to undercut the right itself. You see this with people, and it's because they're not thinking very clearly. So on the left now, you get shout your abortion. You get screaming and yelling. There's no civil discourse. And uh, I, the only way that I think we can deal with these people to try to turn that culture, because there is this cultural movement happening, we have to treat them like children. Because they, they just don't understand. They don't understand what America stands for. They don't understand why what they're saying is not coherent. So I'm not saying you need to punch them in the face. That's not what a good parent does to her child or something. You, you treat them like a child. You have patience. You want them to grow up. You want them to be mature, these little lefties. And maybe they'll come to realize that to protest against the American flag is a senseless and ridiculous act.